Well, we could talk my being accepted as a YouTube partner, but let's talk song. This is the beginning of a new series. It's called Why Would You Like That? And is reaction videos to your song suggestions. So up until now, I have been telling you to give me suggestions for reaction videos in the comments. I haven't reacted to any of them yet, so I will start with it right now. I've got a playlist, a private playlist with 18 suggestions, and I'm going to press the randomized mix and just analyze the first thing that appears winery dogs who's winery dogs i have a feeling i should know them mike portnoy billy sheen and richie Cotson. not too bad of a combo let's see what happens Song seems to be an E minor. But we already have got this very, very juicy C major, uh, sorry, C sharp in the melody. If that was the chorus, it was G major something. Very bluesy also. And a very clear structure of the song so far, in that it basically is verse, that short chorus thingy. Maybe it's also a transitional bridge, I don't really know. And um, we see what happens next. Anticipation's really cool. How cool is that? Ending on the Foo Fighters code on the two major. <laughs> Sorry, my voice terrible today. <laughs> on the A. <laughs> Great singing. Right? Really, really cool to have that C major 7. So what the melody basically does is an arpeggiated E minor chord down, right? B, G and E. With those chords, those notes become totally different in their feel. And also, I think there are anticipations in the harmonic rhythm, right? So everything but the first chord is anticipated. Verse 3. I'm really not sure what happens harmonically there. I believe it is first the G, then maybe G with B and bass, something like this. Um, the bass just basically goes up and it's a real build up back to that E minor. That's really cool. What I really love about that chorus is the structure, right? So we basically got a four-form structure. 
Every form is one chord progression. So that C, E minor, G, D, namely in chord stage degrees, four, six minor, one and five, basically gets repeated four times with that variation in the fourth time around where we land on the Foo Fighters chord. What the melody does is quite interesting because the first, the second, and basically the fourth form are very similar, and the third form in the middle is really, really different. Nice contrast within the chorus. What happens now after chorus two? That sounds like verse to me. A uh, solo. In weird modes also, I believe. That's what makes a great bass player. He doesn't get tired of playing that cool thing. That's also probably why the song is six minutes long, because we've got a seven minute guitar solo, which is kind of cool. And nerdy. And long. That's that transitional bridge thingy. G and A as chords. C and D, great build up. One, two, four, five. And back to the chorus. Repetition of that motif. Different melodic motif. And this in denial thing is another hook in itself, right? In denial! And this is the outro, I believe, on the chorus, chorus chords. And Foo Fighters chord A, A major. Back to that bass riff. Which is super simple, but super effective. Really, really cool. The Winery Dark Stars. I'm sure a lot of you already knew the song. I simply didn't. Published 11 months ago, so not too old. Really, really great. What takeaways can we have songwriting-wise? What I really, really liked is that big contrast between the very pure and private verse and then this powerful almost stadium rock-like chorus with that very very simple bass riff that works well if we want to have it a bass riff you better play it in bass G E and then D E nothing really extraordinary and then we have that very powerful chorus with that Great chord progression for six minor one five. So far, so conventional. What's great is the harmonic rhythm, the anticipation of the chords that are not the C chord. So, creating a very, very powerful environment there. We could see a very, very clear song structure. Verse, short transitional bridge, another verse, transitional bridge, then this powerful chorus, back to verse number three, transitional bridge, powerful chorus, and then we would have this eight, nine, ten minutes guitar solo that was also really cool. In terms of melody, we have got two very, very special strategies that are applied here. First, we've got this weird C-sharp melody note in the verse that normally is not in the E minor scale. And then what we had in the chorus, this arpeggio melody. I believe something like this. Also with that great contrast between the first two motifs, which are basically a repetition of each other, then that fresh lyric line that I don't remember from the top of my head. In denial? Yes, in denial. In denial! 
and then back to this original motif. Really, really cool idea to have that four form chorus with those different melodic motifs inside. In terms of lyrics, nothing really struck my ear. So um, we can take a look at, for example, the chorus. Star with no name, fans of the flame and my world is changing. Spa with my fate, got no shame and our vows are tested now. In denial, carried by a star with no name who fa fans the flame. I don't really know what it means. It's rhyme words and uh, it seems to be kind of cool and um, they can pull it off quite easily. I guess this was the first episode of Why Would You Like This? If you liked my reaction video to Winery Dogs Stars, please, please, please give me the likes, um, give me the subscriptions, also give me comments. Apparently you are allowed to give me money in the comments as well now. This is one of the great features of the new YouTube partnership that I have got here. Also, please take a look at the almost but not quite complete guide to songwriting available at spectreacademy.net, link in description below. I guess we've talked song. You can talk about my being a YouTube partner now. Bye-bye.